Welcome to the untold true story of Sir Topham Hatt, part three. In part two, we saw Sir Topham Hatt become the dictator of Sodor, and eventually gave the orders to invade neighboring countries in his quest for world domination. The war had started, and Thomas and the rest of the trains were forced into combat. The trains did not believe in Sir Topham Hatt's war, and were reluctant to join the battle. But orders were orders. Soon Thomas and his friends became part of Sir Topham Hatt's war efforts. The war continued, and soon England surrendered to Sodor. The Queen signed over the land rights to Sir Topham Hatt, and England came to be known as East Sodor. Sir Topham Hatt celebrated this victory and continued on his quest for world domination. Lady Hatt, Sir Topham Hatt's mother, Dowager Hatt, and Sodor's inner circle were incredibly pleased with the victory. It was at this time that the American military joined the war. Their primary focus was to take out Sir Topham Hatt. They advanced towards Sodor with their tanks and bombers in hopes of taking out the evil dictator. With the American planes overhead, Sir Topham Hatt retreated to his underground bunker which had a secret tunnel leading to Misty Island. The secret underground base at Misty Island had everything Sir Topham Hatt needed to run the war and live his life in secrecy. Sir Topham Hatt had a team of highly trained lookalikes which continuously fooled the Americans. When American forces closed in on Sir Topham Hatt's secret bunker on Misty Island, they were disappointed to find it empty. Sir Topham Hatt had escaped. It was rumored that he found his way to Madagascar, where Sir Topham Hatt continued to live the good life. Although his whereabouts to this day continue to be unknown. With Sir Topham Hatt in hiding and out of the picture, the Americans soon won the war. The fall of the Sodor Empire had finally happened. The life of Sir Topham Hatt and the war on Sodor shows you what can happen when power and greed come together.